Madison, do you have somebody that you have your eye on right now? Not really. No? Perhaps. My music. It's incredibly. Just your music. music. Convenient my how life. we're both just super single. My, yeah. Are you open to dating right now? I'm, the, I'm never the kind of person who's like, I refuse to have. If something comes that I feel like is right, then I'm never opposed to it. But at the same time, I'm not like particularly looking for anything. Right. That's how I, I am. I don't think looking for things is healthy. I think that's how you get yourself in a bad situation because you have false feelings for people when you're like avidly looking for a boyfriend. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah. And how, how does it... See, what I never understood is how people date somebody. How do people date somebody and they only date them for like two months? Like, yeah, that's uh, never... Uh, I've never had a short-term boyfriend. Yeah, I've like only if I want to date somebody... for like <laughs> long term. Like I, the only like serious girlfriend I've had was like Liza, right? Yeah. And like... I guess I did date somebody for a month. But you guys that, were together for what, for like three three years? Like two, two and a half. Yeah. yeah. See, Jack and I were together for almost four, and then my ex and I were together for two and a bit, and then I did date someone for like three months. Yeah, but, but that it, was also not a like that never felt like a real relationship. We were going out together, and we were like hooking up, and you know what I mean. Like it's like it's, right. I feel like there's just a difference when you're in an actual committed long term relationship versus like a thing for two months. Wait, with Liza, thing? it took me a couple months just to be like okay. And it took us both a couple months to be like, yeah, let's date. Like we ha- we have to really get to know each other. Be comfortable with each other. Uh, yeah, and that's why I, like I don't understand the people that like date someone for like three months. Like, sh- shouldn't you have already known it wasn't gonna work? Yeah, I agree. Like, how are you three months in and you're realizing so soon that this person isn't for like, you. the right fit for mm-hmm. you? Like, that well, when crazy. you're desperate, not that you are or Madison is, but other people, sometimes they want they want to try things and say, oh, maybe this will work. Oh, right. You know. Yeah. You're right, you're right. I, I feel like, like going on two dates with somebody or like kissing someone twice, I would know that they weren't for me. Like I also have a very like intuitive personality where I feel like I'm just like good on picking up on like who I click with and who I don't. Well, listen, I'm down a clown. <laughs> I'm on Amazon <laughs> so right now, romantic. David. I found a canoe. Oh, you really want should, me to do should this? Should we get it? Yeah, sure. It's two, right. $269, $269. <laughs> Madison, can you split this How with me? How much do canoes go for these days? <laughs> Madison, can you unmoan me for this canoe? <laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Madison and I have to go and... Um, we have some canoeing if to do. If you guys want to see David and Madison go on a canoe date, tweet David, tweet Madison. Let them know because I'd like to see it. I think it's pretty cute. I'll go on a date with Madison. Like I know I'm not just saying that like in like a in like a oh I have to, but be like, that'd be pretty interesting to get to know no, no Madison. I think you know me pretty. I well. can tell that she's interested in you. Are you interested in me? You know I've had a crush on you. Let's not let's not have to revisit this every right. time. Right, he's we asking. See. I I think yeah. I think I, yeah. we've all known this. The last time she was on, she I got the feeling that she had a crush on you, but it was over it. But now she just said she still does. I, I I'm think, just curious if it's you know if this I the had light a, is still on. Yeah, I mean, I think I think with having crushes on people, I think like I had a crush on Madison, like a huge crush. I mean, I oh you know I talked about that, but I don't think that's an, anything that like ever goes away. I think that's like that can be like yeah, I would relit. It's like a candle, you know. You could blow it out, but you can relight that bitch at any moment. Yeah, but um, like, until until the wick is gone. But like all candles, the wick See? does disappear. Exactly. That's why this. But then you can pour the wax right. all over your hand, and it's even more fun because now you're ready to go out. Now and we mingle. got sexy time. I don't know why you like this guy, Madison. I honestly, I, <laughs> my brain like is ro- wired very can strangely. Can I pour wax all over you? No, David. Oh, like <laughs> yeah. like that movie, uh, Fifty Shades. No, well, I saw it in Wolf of Wall Street. Oh. Wolf of Wall Street, where he's. Where pouring yeah, where ass. she's pour no, she's pouring wax all over his back. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom, David? You said I could say whatever I wanted. You literally I said don't, a, I don't know. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Why don't you answer first, then she'll answer. She said she wants to be in the hot seat, not me. I was never like I want to be in the hot seat. Oh. Um, I'll tell you what the kinkiest thing I've ever done. Let's is. fucking hear it. I dressed up as a dinosaur. I fucked Todd. I put <laughs> peanut butter all over my body. Did you eat it? Not. Nah. No, I obviously did not. Like, I was like, you're perfect. <laughs> I love peanut butter. You're just one. I put, I, put, I put jelly all over my body. She puts oh peanut butter God. all over my body. We just jump on each other. Ew, that is so gross. Yeah, that is fucked up. Now, um, Didn't you guys make Jonah the peanut butter baby once? Yeah, we did. It's amazing. The, the kinkiest thing I've ever done. I don't know. David doesn't know what the word kinky means. <sighs> that is so wrong. It's very offensive to the BDSM community to use the word kinky. Okay, what's the kinkiest thing you've ever done, fucking queen of kink? I don't know fucking kink. tell you. Yeah. Because you know what actually is a fun fact? It's when to talk about a sexual experience you've had, you should have consent from both people who partaked in it to talk about it. <sighs> okay, I'll, you can tell you can tell people what we, we did. I don't care. Mm, what did we do? <laughs> Wait, Made what? me go to fucking IPIC <laughs> at 10 minutes before it closed so you can get fucking chicken tenders or whatever you like to eat from there. And then yeah. David wants to leave 20 spring minutes rolls, the movie. Spring rolls. And then literally made us leave 15 minutes in. We ditched Jason. Madison knows that was so super well. hot. Yeah, that was super hot. Super hot. Listen, we don't have to get into the kinks because Madison doesn't want to share. It, and I know she's not a kinky person. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> 
Uh, the kinkiest thing I've ever done. I'll Why tell do you, you only right have now. sexual questions to ask me? You, literally, that's what you wanted. No, hot seat does not just. That's what you wanted. <laughs> um, okay, if you could, you could you, change one thing about David. What would you change? Oh, what the fuck? That's fucked up. That hmm. I, I had that question in my head, but I was like, I don't want to know. I would. Here it is. It's gonna be some bullshit. Thing no, about I actually <laughs> don't know. I would. I don't. I don't say there's a lot of things I would change because it's more like an umbrella thing about him. I feel like he's very genuinely was such a good person, and I think that the way you're, you portray yourself on. I think you put too much pressure on yourself and I wish that you took some of that pressure off because I think that when you don't put as much pressure on yourself, that's when you get the best shit. I wish you also valued the people who are around you who actually like had your back and wanted you to succeed more. I think sometimes you get very like caught up or like not caught up, but you get excited over people who genuinely don't care about you. Whereas like Jason's even said with me, he's like, the reason I love Madison is because she genuinely like wants you to do shit. She wants you to get content. She wants you to film the podcast. She wants you to do things where I feel right, like you don't, right. you don't have that many people around you that do that other than like your very close circle. And I wish sometimes you took a step back and you appreciated those people more. She wants you to appreciate her more. I think yeah. <laughs> to say, yeah. that, that too. Because I know for a fact that he appreciates us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he you does get excited. I think, I think he over. I think he so over. Maybe, maybe he doesn't appreciate you enough. <laughs> I think he overlooks which is fair. me sometimes. I, I, he what? I think he what? I think you like group me in with all of our other girlfriends, whereas like name one time any of our other girlfriends have ever been like, let's brainstorm wow. ideas. She's let's got like, a good point. I don't know. And I just feel like sometimes you, you group point. me in I, with people and I'm like, I stand the fuck out, David. I agree. I, I, I completely agree. You're not good. like the other girls. Thank you. <laughs> no, you. I do agree. You do. You definitely have my. You definitely have my back when it comes to that. Good. A lot that's of all things. I ask for. Um, thanks for putting this together. You're like um, the modern David's day Chris Harrison. You're fucking Cupid over here. <laughs> you mean Jason? Jason's a Cupid over here. I always say to David, I go, "Why? Why don't you date Madison? I don't understand." What's his answer? He'll be like, uh, I, "I don't know." He's just like sort of spazzing out. He's like, "Oh, fuck, uh, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah, where's Jonah? <laughs> where's Jonah? <laughs> he's also the, he's also the master of not answering. Yes, so I agree. He just doesn't answer. He's also, you. he's the best at beating around a bush until you like go on a new subject and then you don't forget the, the best. question. The and best, the best at manipulating you. Hundred percent, the most manipulative yeah. person. I am so good at manipulating, and I don't mean in this. That's not a bad way. It's not a bad thing. I don't mean in in like a dark no. way. That just shows <laughs> that you have a good understanding of people and how to like get in their heads. That's not a bad thing. We're choice is very like word choice is very important to me mm -hmm. like even like like when natalie calls you about something like i'll run it through like run through with her like exactly how she should say it and what mm. words she should use sure. all right guys well, that's all the time we have what'd you learn today dave um that i'm pretty scolding. dope you guys like me a lot <laughs> 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 no 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 i learned to to respect my elders you <laughs> learned you learned that madison's got your back and that you should therefore appreciate her more yeah but how are her back scratches I wouldn't My know. back scratches? Have you seen these nails, dog? I know. I've been looking at them all day because I've literally just been thinking about how good those back scratches would be. I'm the best. Uh, oh, good back scratches are the best. Well, next, tune in next podcast when I fill you guys in on how exactly those back scratches went. <laughs>